Where'd you meet her? I met her on an elevator. On an elevator? You met a woman on an elevator? Impossible, right? You got less than 60 seconds. That's like dismantling a time bomb. <laughs> what cut into you? I don't know. She was so beautiful. It was like a pure reflex. The words just came out of my mouth. Wow. What'd you say? <clears throat> you know, I'm the one responsible for those crop circles in England. <laughs> wow. Can you believe I did that? What did she say? What crop circles? <laughs> Not a good sign. Not everybody knows what the crop circles are. You know what the crop circles are? Crop circles? Why don't you buy something? You got something in your teeth there. What? It's green. Oh, man, it's spinach! I've been walking around like this all afternoon. Did you bump into anybody you knew? I had a job interview. How'd it go? Take a guess. Well, Mr. Costanza, we have nothing available at the present time, but should anything open up, we'll be in touch. OK, thanks. Uh, you need a job? You got Audrey. Yeah, right. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. What? You won't think I'm a bad person? Too late for that. Just believe me, I would only say this to you and maybe a psychiatrist, maybe. What is it? Well, her nose is a little big. Yeah, she's got a big nose. I mean, big would even be okay. It's a little beyond big. Mm. It's a schnoz. Now, I'm aware that my own physical dimensions are perhaps a little short of perfection. A little. So who am I to be thinking about someone's nose? I mean, I, I should be grateful. Someone like her even looks at me. I have no job, nothing. But I have to say, I think about the nose. I don't want to think about the nose. I don't ask to think about the nose, but I think about it. I go to bed at night, I tell myself, don't think about the nose, forget the nose, but I think about it. I look at her, I see the nose. <laughs> Stop being so concerned with looks. <laughs> Have you said anything to her about it? No, I could never do that. You know, the ironic thing is, if she had a smaller nose, I never could have gone out with her in the first place. She'd be out of my league with a smaller nose. And I really like her. I know that. I know one other thing. <laughs> I'm not getting past that nose. All right, should I feel like I'm... Oh. How could I not think about it? Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> so my mother's going out with this guy who leaves a jacket in her house. So, you know, she gives it to me. Well, two years later, he shows up and he takes it back. And now he's in prison. Got arrested for mail fraud. So, Elaine, all you have to do is go over to the apartment, tell the landlord that you're his daughter, and you want to bring him the jacket in prison. Won't the landlord know I'm not the daughter? No, no, he's never met her. She's in California. Are you coming with me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to. I'm your fiance. <laughs> Peter von Nostrand. <laughs> Don't you just commit yourself already? <laughs> What's so special about this jacket? Oh, well, no, you know. God. <laughs> he believes it possesses some extraordinary power over women. What's this blotch on your hand? Oh, I got stamped at the reggae lounge last night. Yeah, I'm going back there tonight. You know, I'm not going to pay another cover charge. Well, you didn't wash all day? Yeah, I washed, just not the hand. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the women at this club. Ooh, man. It's amazing how many beautiful women live in New York. I actually find it kind of intimidating. Well, you're as pretty as any of them. Just need a nose job. Graver! What? What? How can you say something like that? Why? What do you mean? What? I just said she needs a nose job. So oh, no. There's nothing wrong with her nose. God, I'm so sorry, Audrey. Oh, it's OK. What did you have to say that? Well, I was just trying to help out. Yeah, well, you can kiss that jacket goodbye, Mr. Von Nazen. You see what happens when you try to be nice? <laughs>